The North Atlantic right whale is the fourth largest creature on the planet, after the blue whale and its other two right whale cousins. A large baleen whale that can reach lengths of 18 meters and weigh 117 tons. They can be easily distinguished by the large white callosities on their heads. We honestly have no idea why they have these callosities, but they make great identifiers for individuals as they form unique patterns. For you testicle fans out there, this species has the largest testicles on the planet. Not, not sure why you'd be a fan of this, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Speaking of floating, 40% of the North Atlantic white whale's body weight is blubber, which is actually pretty low density compared to other whales. They're also among one of the most endangered whales out there. Now, right whale may seem like a strange name. It's, well, whale is perfectly symmetrical. The name of the right whale goes back to whaling, like most things involving this whale. Way back in the day, heyday whaling, they just go out and stick the fuckers until they die and then wait for the corpse to resurface somewhere. Not the right whale, though. Remember what I said about their blubber being low density? Yeah, it turns out right whales float when they die, unless they were the right whales to kill, which is really kind of a macabre name for them. Right whales were originally hunted for the oil until we figured out, oh hey, we can cure and preserve meat. In the 1700s, American whalers set out from Massachusetts and would take hundreds of right whales a year. There's even a record of 29 right whales being taken in Cape Cod in one day. By 1750, so many right whales had been killed that there was no viability in hunting them commercially. The whalers left for the South Atlantic, leaving only an estimated 100 right whales remaining. As of the latest census data, scientists know of at least 361 recognized individuals known to have been alive in 2005. It's estimated that 400 North Atlantic right whales exist today, mostly in the western part of the Atlantic. In the winter, they head south to Georgia and Florida to give birth. It's not uncommon to see right whales when they migrate. However, approaching within 500 feet of right whales intentionally is a violation of federal law, so don't, don't do that.